Okay, I thought I'd do a little video uh, showing what we who are on Warfarin have to go through checking our INR at home. We use a, a Coag Check XS system uh, and the hospital will train you in the use of this little machine here, which I'll remove from its case. You get the machine, uh, stabbers, <laughs> as I call them, um, finger pricks and a set of test strips. So when you turn the machine on, obviously you also need a clinical waste container. You turn the machine on just by pressing on and it will initialize itself, check its battery, and then it will ask for a strip. The strips are coded to the chip inside. So when I insert this strip, it will display a number 461, which 461, that's the code on the chip that's inside the machine as well. So then you press M to confirm. Having washed your hands, you then prepare the finger prick by simply pulling the stick out. Massage the finger you're going to get blood out of. Don't use an alcohol-based soap or any kind of alcohol gel. Just massage the blood down to your finger and it's basically warming up. And you've got three minutes, 108 seconds to perform this test. So you get a good blob of blood and it wants to be the first blob of blood that comes out of your finger as well. Get a good sized blob of blood, and I've just caught that. And apply it to the machine here on the strip. I don't know if you can see that when I'm trying to apply it. And it'll beep to confirm it's red, and it'll do a QC, display QC. There you go, a little tick. Uh, you can put these bits inside the Sharps container. And then it'll tell you your INR for that day. Sometimes you have to see, it seems you're waiting a little longer than others. 2.5, which is absolutely on the nose for mine. My range is two to three and 2.5 is perfect. So then you remove the strip, put that in the uh, container, turn the Aggie check uh, off, Coag check. And, and then I dial a number on here to tell the INR clinic that my INR was absolutely on the ball. Last thing to do, of course, is to close the Sharps container, but not all the way because it locks. And that's it. That's how you do a home coag check. Thank you.